Welcome, and welcome to another edition of Low Carb Cooking with Chef Moore. Sorry it's been about nine months since I made my last video, but a lot's happened and I didn't have a whole lot of imagination or drive to do this, but now I do in January 2022. Okay, today's recipe is egg bites. What is an egg bite? Well, I didn't even discover egg bites until one time I went to Starbucks for my usual coffee and I saw they had these little things called sous vide or sous vide, however you pronounce them. Uh, they're essentially you know, made of egg and cheese and whatever ingredients they put into it. And I thought, this is pretty interesting. I could probably make this at home. I don't have to spend four bucks a pop at Starbucks for just two pieces. I can make a whole batch at once. So this is what we're going to do today. So let me show my ingredients here. First, I have a lot of vegetables. This is a combination of onion, red onion as a matter of fact. Uh, green pepper, red pepper, and mushrooms, which I chopped with my new veggie chopper that I got for Christmas. Works pretty well. It just doesn't hold that much, but that's okay. Okay, I have also 10 eggs, which I'm going to be um, breaking apart and mixing in here. I have, I have two cheeses here, which I'm going to discuss. Uh, we have a shaved Asiago Parmigiano Romano blend, and I also have some Swiss. Uh, I'm going to use a Swiss today because I already ch I already sliced it into little slices to put in all the little pieces in my little um, muffin little mu muffin maker here because the pre-slice goes a whole lot better than putting the shaved pieces in because sometimes you overdo it. All right, part two of our egg bite recipe. All right, we're gonna focus on our eggs right now. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna put them into this nice bowl that we got from Pampered Chef. It was really good for pouring into the uh, muffin tin. Not really a tin, more of a plastic polyurethane thing there, but okay, so I'm gonna break up a whole bunch of eggs. All right, now that all the eggs are in the bowl, I'm gonna quickly mix it up here with a fork. Get all mixed up here. Now, it should be pretty well blended by now. It should be pretty well blended by now. So now I'm going to add a pretty liberal amount of fresh black pepper. I love these little uh, pepper mills that we got last year. I'm going to also put in just a little twirl of salt. I'm not going to put in that much salt only because, well, salt has been leading to some uh, kidney stones for me. And I don't want any more kidney stones. So one little twist of the salt will do. All right, next part. We're gonna be blending the vegetables that you sauteing them in a nice cast iron drill. So I'm gonna put a good heavy amount of butter in here. The pan is already nice and hot, so we didn't have to wait for that. And the good thing about sauteing the vegetables like this, is that it really brings out the sweetness of everything, especially the peppers and the onions. So I'm gonna blend this really well, stir it all around the pan. Mmm. I, 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 I wish you guys could smell the aroma of this because when you get peppers and onions in a cast iron pan like this and saute them, and no, you did not see those vegetables just flying out of the pan onto the floor. The cleanup scenes will be in the uh, special edition. Mmm. That aroma's really coming out well here. All right. Now, you don't want to overdo these. You don't want to burn the vegetables then because then it's not going to taste really well at all. So we're just going to saute them just enough. Get that nice sizzle going on there. Not sure if the camera person can smell it, but. Giving spice. Oh, perfect. Okay. Welcome to part four of making egg bites. 
This is once again a very low carb recipe. Just to give a quick review about low carb. Uh, low carb involves not getting a whole lot of rice or bread or other grains or sweets, which are the simple carbs. You don't want those as much in your diet. Try to limit those as much as you can. All right, enough review, review back to our recipe. So I made my sauteed peppers and mushrooms and onion blend. Now I'm gonna mix this into my egg mixture here. As much as I can there. Mm. I, can already, I can still smell the delicious aroma of the mixed, veg, mixed vegetables there after I sauteed them. Okay, now I'm gonna mix these all together. Okay. Excellent, this is gonna be delicious. All right, now I'm gonna pour these into, try to get a liberal amount in. All right, good, good. All right, now I'm going to layer that with Spoon that in. There we go. Okay, now I'm going to layer it and top it all off with a piece of sliced uh, Swiss cheese. As I said before, uh, there's also a shaved Parmesan Romano Asiago blend that you can use. However, sometimes you might go a little heavy on one space while you might go a little too light on another. I want to keep these as even as possible. There we go. Almost finished here. It's gonna be delicious. And just so you know that making egg when you make egg bites, generally about having two, maybe three a morning is recommended to get a good protein and vegetable blend. All right, now we're gonna go over to our oven. Oven is set at 325 degrees. You don't want it too hot. And we're gonna set this for 25 minutes. And we will see when these are done. All right, welcome to part five, our final part here. Oven's finally turned, oven's finally done, or rather the timer's finally done. Turn the timer off and pulling the egg bites out of the oven, woo! Look at this, that cheese is melted nicely. The egg bites are pretty firm and hot. Like I said before, I recommend having two to three of these in a day. Uh, if you have two of these, they'll last you for about six days. If you take three of them, they'll last you for about four. But generally, most of the week, you should get a pretty decent breakfast out of this. I would probably recommend as an addition, maybe have half of an avocado, maybe some cottage cheese to have a good filling breakfast. And hopefully this will keep you, that breakfast like that, keep you feeling full until lunch or whenever it is that you absolutely feel hungry next time. So thank you for joining me. Tune in next time.